Okay, Paul here, and I got this monstrosity back in its case. Um, the dial is not the right dial cover here, but there's nothing I can do about that. And we've probably got it <coughs> plugged in and working, and I wanted to do a final demo. Uh, here we go, there's the volume. Mm. This is fine tuning here. This is the major tuning. Mm -hmm. And about get to the Cornelia station. To the same guy, New Yorkers to go to Chinatown and enjoy yeah. the Chinese New Year yeah, parade. Local station. There's nothing to fear here. And here's Cornelia. Good two tone settings. And we won't leave it there because of copyright. And we'll continue. You see, they picking up station. Good sensitivity, good selectivity. Let's talk about Jeeps. Oh, okay, yeah, it's going to pick up a lot of interference from my lights and stuff, computers, and everything else I got down here. But it's He's picking up stations where he can find them in my basement. There's a whole bunch. He's picking them all up. Brian. I'm an angel on the outside. I'm on the inside. Since our humble beginnings back in 1920. about it. He has parroted it. We are the number one contributor or yep, donor. Working fine. And if I turn my lights out, you'll be able to see the magic eye on a strong station. Let me get back to Cornelia. Let me go back to Cornelia here. And you can watch that eye. It won't do it on these weak stations. I don't have an antenna for it. There we go. Let's see if that's showing up on the camera or not. But the eyes working fine. So it's working fine. And I'll show you the new speaker we got in there. Well, it's not new, but it's a uh, vintage speaker. To turn it around, and there it is. And let me get this antenna out of the way. It's a five and a half inch, uh, which was the what the original speaker was. It has the same rated field coil and uh, pretty close to the same uh, rated output transformers, working fine. Systems drawing what it's supposed to draw, so everything's good there. I marked the leaves after I heat shrunk them. In case anyone has to get in here and work on it, don't know. But you can always tell from the schematic diagram anyway. But I put those little tabs on there. They might not stay. Like I said, you can tell from the schematic. And, you know, I put some um, wire there. I'm probably going to do the same thing here. Um, I uh, put some heat shrink on a little piece of the wire that wasn't too great. I might just coil this now that I got it in there and put one or so on there to hold the hold it in place. But it seems to be doing fine. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave them loose like that. Um, nobody's going to be playing around in the back of this. Uh, if they do, they won't be around to tell about it. Um, is it is high voltage. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to be putting your hands in here with the power on or it even plugged in for that matter. And there's the antenna in the ground. 
Um, I was just using the positive antenna with a piece of wire running outside from my basement and not, not going far and no ground at all. So it was doing good. Anyway, that's the radio. Thanks for watching the video.